Hi, my name is Jody, and today I'm going to be going over the axis controls for an ActionTech PK5000 modem, which is what we have right here. This is my home modem, and uh, as soon as I hook this back up, we are going to access it and make some adjustments to the axis controls. So again, with our ActionTech PK5000 modem, the axis controls that we're going to be going over today are services blocking, website blocking, and scheduling access. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open up a web browser. You will need to know the IP address for your modem. Most home modems uh, default to 192.168.0.1. Um, my modem is set up with administrative rights, so I'll just type in my username and password. Uh, as you can see, this software is very intuitive and easy to navigate. We just need to, at this point, select Advanced Setup. We're just going to go through this first blocking and filtering section, which has the services blocking, website blocking, and scheduling access. So we're going to start with services blocking. As you can see, um, it is automatically selected when you select advanced setup. It's the first item. And you can choose the device or enter the IP address. Uh, the nice thing about this software is that it keeps a list of devices that have accessed your network in the past. Uh, my list is very small right now because I've recently unplugged my modem. Uh, but most times there's about four devices, four or five devices on here. So I select the Wii, and then um, I select which service I would like to block. At this particular point, I can select all of these services or a combination of services or just one service, any anything I want. Um, and once you hit Apply, it then um, applies those settings to your modem. And then when you come back to this page, it will come right back to this page once it's done applying. You can see this list of services that are being blocked. And the device name or the IP address. The next thing we're going to go over is website blocking. Uh, this is very simple. So to block a specific website, you just type in the address. Um, in the past I've done Facebook. We'll just go ahead and do that one again. www.facebook.com and uh, once you're done you click apply. Again it uh, as soon as that happens it goes to a window that lets you know that it's applying the new settings to your modem. Once you're done it will revert back to this page and you'll see right down here a list of uh, web addresses that have been blocked. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'll click apply. Here's the window. Uh, please wait while the new settings are applied to the modem. As soon as the um, new settings are applied, it will revert back to the window and we'll see the list of our website that's being blocked. Facebook.com is now being blocked. So our third um, access control is scheduling access. I have found this to be very handy in my home. Um, so say again with the Wii, we decide that we want to schedule the times that the Wii uh, game console is allowed to access our network. So we select it or again enter in the IP address if you know it. View edit access details. Um, it actually gives you the step-by-step -step instructions, um, but we'll just go ahead and go through it. There's two selections you can make, daily or weekly. If you choose daily, it will apply to every single day of the week. Uh, if you choose weekly, you can actually identify the specific days that you want um, the rules to be in place. So let's just do one. We'll select Friday, and we're going to say that we only want them to access, we want the Wii to be on from 6 a.m. to, I don't know, 1 p.m. Then we're going to go ahead and hit Add. Once we scroll down here, we see the rules for Friday are from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now, as we continue to add rules, 
here. Um, none of these have been applied to the modem until we click the apply button. We'll see the same window we saw previously um, where it is letting us know that it is applying our new settings to the modem and then once it's done it'll revert back to to the scheduling access page. So as you can see Action Tech has really given us some good software that we can utilize to maintain control of our network. I hope that through this video you have um, learned some valuable tools that are available to you. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Jody, and today I'm going to be going over the access controls for an Action Tech PK5000 modem, which is what we have right here. This is my home modem, and uh, as soon as I hook this back up, we are going to access it and make some adjustments to the access controls. So again, with our Action Tech PK5000 modem, the access controls that we're going to be going over today are services blocking, 